A capacitor network. For the capacitor network shown in figure, the potential difference across AB is 12 volts. Find A the total energy stored in this network and B the energy stored in the 4.8 microfarads capacitor. So we have five capacitors C1, C2 connected in series, connected in parallel with C3 and connected this combination connected in series with C4 and C5. So our first task is to find the equivalent capacitance for this network. So C1 and C2, these two capacitors are connected in series. And we know that for capacitors connected in series, the equivalent capacitance is uh, given by 1 over the equivalent capacitance, 1 over C12 is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So the reciprocal of the equivalent capacitance is equal to the reciprocal of uh, the sum of the reciprocals of the two capacitances. So this gives us the equivalent capacitance C12 for this combination to be the product of the capacitances C1, C2 divided by the sum of the capacitances C1 plus C2. So replacing C1 and C2 with C12, we now have C12 connected in parallel with C3. So C12 and C3 are connected in parallel. For parallel capacitances, the equivalent capacitance is found by adding up the individual capacitances. So for the capacitance that replaces C12 and C3, I will have C123. C123 is equal to C12 plus C3. So uh, C123 then will become C12, which is product of the capacitances C1 and C2, divided by the sum C1 plus C2 plus C3. And that gives me for C123 the following answer. C1, C2 plus C1, C3 plus C2, C3 divided by C1 plus C2. So writing this in the common denominator, we have to multiply C3 with C1 plus C2 and that's what we obtain. Now, looking at this situation here, C4, C5, and C1, 2, 3 are connected in series between points, the terminals A and B. So that's what I see here. C4, C5, and C1, 2, 3, this equivalent capacitance, they're connected in series. So uh, in that case, I will have 1 over C equivalent for the equivalent capacitance that replaces all of these uh, capacitances is equal to 1 over C4 plus 1 over C5 plus 1 over C1, 2, 3. And this is basically equal to uh, C, let's write this with the common denominator, uh, C5, C1, 2, 3, plus C4, C1, 2, 3, plus C4, C5, divided by C1 
four, C five, C one, two, three. So you can see here that here's the first term, one over C four, plus here's the second term, one over C five, and here's the third term, one over C one, two, three. So that's writing it with this uh, common denominator. So uh, if I take the reciprocal, I will obtain C equivalent is equal to the product of the capacitances C4, C5, C123 divided by C5, C123 plus C4, C123 plus C4, C5. And I can now write this equivalent capacitance as if I divide the top and bottom with C123 as C4, C5 divided by C5 plus C4 plus C4, C5 divided by C1, 2, 3. So that's how I can write it. And uh, this is going to become, if I substitute for C1, 2, 3, what I have found here, the equivalent capacitance will be C4, C5 divided by C4 plus C5 plus C1, C4, C5 plus C2, C4, C5 divided by C1, C2 plus C1, C3 plus C2, C3. So you can see here the reciprocal of C1, 2, 3 will have C1 plus C2 on top and C1 plus C2 multiplied by C4, C5 gives me C1, C4, C5 plus C2, C4, C5 divided by the uh, this term C1, C2 plus C1, C3 plus C2, C3. Now if I substitute the numbers here, uh, I will have uh, for, let's calculate uh, C12. C12 was found to be equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2, 6.2 and 11.8 microfarads. So it is 6.2 times 11.8, 6.2 times 11.8 divided by their sum 6.2 plus 11.8, which is uh, 4.06 microfarads and for C123 I will have uh, C12 plus C3 so here is C12 4.06 microfarads and C3 is uh, 3.5, so this gives me 7.56 microfarads. Seven point five six microfarads for C one two three. Uh, C three is three point five here, so that's what I used here. So that's 7.56 microfarads for C123. So substituting that to my C equivalent, 
I will have uh, C equivalent is equal to um, C4, C5, C1, 2, 3. So it is 8.6 times 4.8 times 7.56. So C4 and C5 were 8.6 and 4.8. That's what I have noted here. Divided by uh, C5, C1, 2, 3, 4.8 times 7.56. Uh, C4, C1, 2, 3, 8.6 times 7.56. And C4, C5, 4.8 times 8.6. And this gives me the answer 2.19 microfarads. So that's the equivalent capacitance that replaces this network. All right, then the energy stored, which is what I was supposed to calculate, is 1 over 2 C equivalent voltage between A and B squared. And this is also equal to the charge stored, Q, Q squared, divided by 2 C equivalent. And if I substitute the numbers, I have uh, for the energy stored, 1 over 2, the equivalent capacitance 2.19, 10 to minus 6 farads, uh, 12 volts, is the potential difference 144 that gives me the answer the potential difference is uh, the potential energy is 1.58 times 10 to minus 4 joules or 158 micro joules that's the energy stored by this network of capacitors so let's check that we have 12 volts in between the two terminals. So one half CV square is the energy stored. That is basically what I have done here. Now in part B, uh, I was supposed to find the energy stored in the 4.8 microfarad capacitor. That is C5. Now you can see that here I have the charge stored Q is equal to C equivalent times the potential difference between A and B. And since these are capacitors connected in series, they all have the same charge stored, Q, but they each have a different potential difference so that the potential differences will add up to give me V4 plus V5 plus V1, 2, 3 is equal to the potential difference between A and B. And they have the same charge Q on each capacitor. So this potential difference V4 is the charge stored Q divided by the capacitance C4 plus the charge stored Q divided by the capacitance C5 plus the charge stored Q divided by the capacitance C123 and this is equal to Q divided by C equivalent. That's basically where this uh, reciprocal rule comes from. Now, what is the charge stored? The charge stored is uh, C equivalent 2.19 microfarads, uh, 10 to minus 6, times the potential difference 12. That gives us 2.63 times 10 to minus 5 coulombs. So what is the energy stored by the fifth capacitor? It is the charge stored on that capacitor, Q square, the charge stored square, divided by 2 C5. So if you look at the charge stored, 
2.63 times 10 to minus 5 parentheses squared divided by 2 times 4.8 microfarads 10 to minus 6 farads that gives us 7.21 times 10 to minus 5 joules in other words the energy stored on the fifth capacitor u5 is 72.1 micro joules The total energy stored in the capacitor network is 158 microjoules. The energy stored in the fifth capacitor is 72.1 microjoules. Okay, so in this problem, we have a capacitor network that consists of five capacitances, one and two connected in series, one, two combination connected in parallel with three, one, two, three combination connected in series with four and five. For capacitors connected in parallel, they have the same potential difference. So C12 and C3 have the same potential difference, but different charges stored. For capacitors connected in series, we have the same charge stored, but the potential differences add up. They, have, they each have a different potential difference. So uh, first I calculated the equivalent capacitance for capacitors connected in series 1 over c equivalent is 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 for capacitors connected in parallel the capacitances add up to give me the equivalent capacitances capacitance and reapplying this for this series combination i have calculated the equivalent capacitance the energy stored is one half cv squared or q squared over 2c equivalent uh, so substituting for the equivalent capacitance 2.19 microfarads and the potential difference 12 volts, we obtain 158 microjoules of energy stored. And to calculate the energy stored on the fifth capacitor, I note that for the series connection, they have the same charge Q, which is equal to C equivalent times V. And the energy stored is Q squared over 2C5. So it is the... Uh, charge that I calculate by substituting for C equal on 2.19 microfarads and voltage 12 volts, 2.63 10 to minus 5 coulombs. Uh, so I take it square and divide it by twice the capacitance, 4.8 microfarads. We obtain 72.1 microjoules of energy stored on the fifth capacitor alone.